Welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a look at the latest update of Linux Mint, version 22, codename Wilma. It's packed with new features and improvements designed to make your computing experience smoother and more enjoyable. So, let's break it down. Linux Mint 22 is a long-term support release, which means it will be supported with updates and security patches until 2029. This is great news because it ensures you can use this version for a long time without worrying about it becoming outdated. Now, let's talk about some of the new features. Wilma comes with updated software and various refinements to make your desktop experience more comfortable. For example, you'll notice a more modern, slimmer version of the Ubuntu font family. This new font gives everything a fresh and clean look. If you prefer the old fonts, don't worry, you can still download and install them. Linux Mint 22 has moved to a new sound server called Pipewire. This should improve how your system handles audio, but if you run into any sound issues, be sure to check the Linux Mint forums for troubleshooting tips. If you have a high resolution display, you may notice that the Grab2 boot menu looks really small. You can fix this by installing the Grab2 Team Mint 2K package, which scales the menu correctly for high DPA screens. There is a known issue with playing multimedia content on virtual machines. If you install the Multimedia Codex package, it includes something called GStreamer 1.0 VAPI. This requires 3D acceleration to work properly. Without it, your session could crash. To avoid this, you can either enable 3D acceleration in your virtual machine settings or remove GStreamer 1.0 VAPI. You might notice that the Snap Store is disabled by default in Linux Mint 22. This is a decision by the Linux Mint team, but you can re enable it if you need it. Now let's talk about security. Linux Mint 22 offers home directory encryption, which protects your personal files. However, benchmarks show that it's slower than full disk encryption. Also, due to a technical issue, your encrypted home directory may not unbound when you log out, so you may want to consider full disk encryption instead. If you have NTFS volumes like those from a Windows system, you may face some issues. The new kernel introduced a bug that prevents these volumes from mounting properly. If you see a volume is dirty message, you can fix it using the disk utility to repair the file system. ZFS, a file system, has been removed from the installer. Not many people use it and it required a lot of maintenance. But don't worry, there are plenty of other file systems you can use. If your screen resolution is too low and some windows don't fit, you can hold the ALT key and drag any part of the windows to move it around. This trick helps you access buttons or options that are off screen. Some graphic cards may cause Linux Mint to freeze during boot. If this happens, you can use the compatibility mode boot option to get started. After installation, you can add the no mode seat options to fix graphics issues. For NVIDIA cards, you can install the NVIDIA driver using the driver manager. This should stabilize your system and you won't need no mode seat anymore. Each new version of Linux Mint comes with a new kernel and new drivers, which usually means better hardware compatibility. But sometimes new versions may introduce issues. If you face hardware problems with Linux Mint 22, you can try using an older release. It may work better with your hardware. You can always upgrade to the newest version later if you want. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials on Linux Mint and other Linux topics. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience with Linux Mint. See you on the next video.